Good morning. Good morning from Yucca Valley, California, where it's sometimes Yucca Valley. Hello to all the yogis around the globe. We got India, Latvia, Italy, Ireland, Riverside. Anyway, we're going to do our global yoga class on this fine Friday here. And let's begin in the mountain pose, Tadasana. And begin to slow the breath down. We want a nice, full, complete breath, which we call Sampurna. And we will begin with some gentle sun salutations, Surya Namaskar. We have our own unique way of doing them. There's other ways, other sequences, but we'll do it the Yucca Yoga way. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, full, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. On your exhale, step your right foot back. Virabhadrasana, one. On the exhale, high plank, Uttita Chaturanga Dandasana. We like to just lower a few inches for our Chaturanga, protect our shoulders. And then we put the knees down and we take cobra, bhujangasana, nice strong abdominals. And downward facing dog, adho mukha svanasana. Let's take a few breaths. Come to the front of your mat, line up your toes perfectly even. Chair pose, Utkatasana, strong abdominals, light toes. And then all the way up to Urdhva Hastasana, I'm going to the toes, I like the balance. I'm going right off the screen. And mountain pose. Tadasana. Let's do the left side. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway up, Ardha. And left foot back, Virabhadrasana. One strong pose. High plank. Uttita Chaturanga Dandasana. I'm going to lower just a few inches, protect the shoulder joints, and then put the knees down, tops of the feet down, Bhujangasana, and Adho Mukha Svanasana for a few breaths. Come to the front of your mat, line up your toes, forward fold. Chair, Utkatasana. I'm pulling in the abdominals to support the lower back. And then all the way to the tips of the toes, right up into the air. And mountain, Tadasana. So we like a full, 
complete slow breath. Sampurna. Let's do another round. Surya Namaskar. Lift. And fold. Uttarasana. Halfway up, Ardha. Right foot back. Virabhadrasana one. The feet are firmly rooted into the mat. High plank, Uddita Chaturanga Dandasana. And lower in just a little bit. Knees down, Cobra. And we'll take a few breaths in downward facing dog. Come to the front of your mat, line up your toes and fold. Chair, Utkatasan, strong abdominals, tips of the toes, Urvahastasan, and Tadasana. Complete breath. Left side, lift, and fold, Uttanasana. Halfway up, Ardha, left foot back, Virabhadrasana, one, strong feet. High plank. Chattaranga, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Aro Mukha Svanasana. Come to the front of your mat, line up your toes and fold. Chair, Utkatasana, hold the abdominals in. Uriyanamanda. To the tips of the toes, Urdhvahastasana. And mountain. Feel the breath. Let's do one more round of Surya Namaskar. Lift. And fold Uttanasana. Halfway up, R. Right foot back, Virabhadrasana, one. Uttikta Chattaranga Dandasan. Chattaranga Urdva Mukha Svanasana and Ara Mukha Svanasana. Come up to the front of the mat and fold. Chair, Utkatasan. Tips of the toes, Urdhva Hastasan. 
and mountain Tadasana. Let's do the left side. Urdhva Hastasana. Uddhanasana. Halfway up. Left foot back. Vira Madrasana. One. Strong pose. And high plank. Uttita Chaturanga Danasana. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha, Manasana. Come to the front. Light up the toes and fold. Ut Kadasan chair. All the way to the tips of the toes. And mount Kadasan. Let's interlace the fingers behind us. Put the right thumb over the left. Press your palms into each other, open the chest, and then bring the hands over to your left hip and drop your right ear. Nice stretch for the neck and shoulder. Soften the eyes and face. And cultivate a full, smooth breath. Bring the head back to center. We're gonna bring the hands over to the right hip and switch the grip so the left thumb comes over the right thumb, hands to the right hip, and then we drop our left ear, get into the neck and shoulder. Relax your knees and toes. Bring the head back to center, release the hand, and just roll the shoulders. Full breath. Roll in the opposite direction. Now, take your left arm across the chest and bring the right arm underneath and get a good stretch through the left shoulder. Let's release and take the right arm across the chest, left underneath. You should feel it in the shoulder. Relax your toes, your knees, and your face. And 
release. Now we're going to do something similar to the sun salutation that we just did, only we'll be using warrior two. So we're going to move again. Inhale, everybody stops them. Exhale, fold. Uddanasana. Halfway up, Arda. Right foot steps back, warrior two. Virabhadrasana, two. We'll just hang out for a moment and feel the pose. My left heel is in line with the center of my right arch. And my left knee is on my left heel. Cartwheel forward, and we're just gonna step the right foot up to meet the left. Chair, Utkatasan. Tips of the toes, Urbhastasan. And mountain, Tadasana. Full breath. Let's do the left side. Inhale, Urbhastasana. And fold, Uddhanasana. Halfway up, Arya. We'll step the left foot back, Virabhadrasana two. My right heel is in line with my left arch. My right knee is on the right heel. So the right knee is bent, the left knee is straight. Don't worry, we're gonna do this a couple more times. Cartwheel forward, step up, forward fold. Chair, Utkatasan. Tips of the toes, Urvastasan. And mountain pose, Tadasana. Okay, another round of sort of a sun salutation using warrior two. And full. Halfway up, Arda. Right foot back, Virabhadrasana two. Your left knee is bent, resting on the left Heel. The right knee is straight, and the left heel is in line with the right arch. Cartwheel forward and step up. Chair, Utkatasan. Tips of the toes. Strengthening the calves. Good balance. Mountain pose. Tadasana. Other side. Lift. Fold. Uttanasana. Halfway up, Arda. Left foot back, Virabhadrasana, two. My right knee is bent on my right heel. My left knee is straight. And the right heel is in line with the left arch. Cartwheel forward, step up, forward, fold. Chair, Utkatasana. 
tips of the toes, Urdhvastasana, mountain, Tadasana. The third and last round of this sequence, this vinyasa. Lift and fold Udanasana. Halfway up, Ardha Udanasana, the right foot steps back, Virabhadrasana, two. Hopefully you're getting the hang of this pose. Cartwheel forward, we'll step up and fold. Chair, Utkatasana. Tips of the toes, Urdhva, Hastasana, and Tadasana. Left side, lift and fold Udanasana. Halfway up, left foot back, Virabhadrasana, two. Strong warrior two. I relax my shoulders and then I strengthen the arm. Cartwheel forward, step up, forward fold. Chair, Utkadasana. Tips of the toes, Urdva, Hastasan, Mountain, Tadasana. Deep full breath, Sam Purna. Let's move towards downward facing dog. We'll start with Urdhvahastasan, reach. And we'll fold Uddhanasana. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana, and step into a high plank. Strong chest, strong thighs, strong abdominals. So we want to really engage those three areas, chest, thighs, stomach. That's your support. Now I'm just gonna lower a few inches, be mindful of my shoulders. I'm gonna put the knees down, tops of the feet down, Bhujangasana. To support the lower back, I pull the abdominals in, Uddhyana Bandha. The shoulder blades descend towards the hips, clearing the neck, Nice space in the throat. Open the jaw. Ah, stick out the tongue. Ah, it's called Simasana, lion. Ah. Auto Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Take a squat, Malasana. This is an excellent, simple pose, although probably challenging for many people who don't squat much in their life anymore. Now I'm just gonna have a little seat. 
No hands. And we'll find our sitting bones. My kneecaps are even so that I got a nice even stretch through the legs and hips. I flex the feet. I pull the abdominals in. I lift up and then I press the chest towards the feet to lengthen the spine. Then I rest the hands. I like to lengthen the back and the neck and I breathe deep and smooth in Paschimottanasana. Now we'll take the counter pose called Purva Tanasan, and we place the hands behind us, not too far, point the toes. Some of the yogis around the globe can just lift the chest, get a nice opening through the spine. Others who are feeling more frisky this morning will lift off the floor, not necessary. Come on down. Let's take the boat pose, Navasana. So find your sitting bones and then just hug the knees in for a moment and pull the belly in. You can stay right here with a nice soft face or you can express it a little deeper if you wish, Navasana. And release, very good. Laura will demonstrate pigeon on the back. So you're gonna be lying down. Don't worry, you don't need to see us. We'll talk you through it. So you lie on your back and you bring your right ankle onto your left thigh. So your knees are bent, your right ankles on your left thigh. And then she reaches around her left thigh with the hands and brings it in. This is called Supta Ekapada Rajakapatasana and just drop into it and I'll wake you up in a minute. Release the cross of the legs and take happy baby, Ananda Balasana. So the knees are apart and bent. The tailbone moves towards the floor. The head is on the floor and you're pulling the knees in towards the armpits. Now we're going to take pigeon on the other side. So the left ankle is going to go onto the right thigh. The knees are bent. You can reach around the right thigh and bring it in. Head on the floor. Supta Ekapada Raja Kapotasana.
And let's undo and take happy baby, Ananda Balasan. Knees in towards armpits. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings and glutes. Head on the floor, tailbone towards the floor. Reach your hands and feet into the sky and circle your wrists and ankles and wiggle your toes and fingers. Hug your knees into the chest and rock on the spine. <sighs> With your knees bent, roll to your left side. Let's come to a seated position. We have our Mexican wool blankets here from Tijuana. Although they don't have to be from Tijuana. Anywhere your blanket is from is okay by me. And we're gonna take a seat and fold the legs and sit comfortably in Sukhasana. And then we shall clear the energy channels, the nadis, these channels where the energy flows and enlivens the body. So to clear those channels and help relax the mind and the nervous system, we do nadi shodana, alternate nostril breathing or clearing the channels, nadi shodana, nadi channels, shodana, cleansing, cleaning. This is a hatha yoga technique. I like to use my right hand first and I'll take my first finger and middle finger to the forehead. Nice little pressure point here, the agna chakra. Then with my right thumb, I gently press the right nostril and I'm just gonna breathe deep in and out through my left nostril.
Now I'm going to give my right shoulder a break and bring the right arm down. Sitting tall, I'll bring my first finger and middle finger of my left hand to the forehead, the Agna Chakra. And with my left thumb, I'll gently press the left nostril and breathe deep through the right. Now I'm gonna lower my left arm, sit tall, and feel the breath. Breathe into the thinking mind. Awareness is completely absorbed in breath. into the mind, everyone around the globe is breathing into the mind. Feel the universal breath. Enjoy the breath, enjoy the space, tranquility, enjoy your Friday, what's left of it. Sit, enjoy, we're gonna sign off, but we'll see you next Friday for this global yoga class presented by Yucca. Yoga.